misbehaving. 10 reasons to ditch the spray bottle. Welcome to the cat and dog house, where we help cat and dog parents better understand their pets. I'm Susan Nilsson and I'm an accredited cat and dog behavior professional. In this video, I'm going to be talking about whether you should use a spray bottle to try to deter your cat from doing something you don't like. Much as we love our cats, they sometimes do things that we're not terribly keen on, like scratching the furniture or jumping on the kitchen counter. The question is, what is the best way to address unwanted behaviors like this? Sadly, some people are giving out inaccurate, outdated advice, saying that spraying your cat with water from a bottle is a good way to teach her a lesson. But we have to remember that cats don't automatically know how to behave in our homes like we do. They just act like cats. It's up to us to teach them what's okay and what's not. When they do something we don't like, we need to show them what we want them to do instead. First of all, it's important to understand that cats all have their own unique personality traits and individual needs and preferences. Whether your cat is confident and outgoing or more of a shy wallflower, all cats do what they do for a reason, not just because they're trying to annoy us. So whatever your cat is doing that you really wish she wouldn't, the first step is to understand why the behavior is happening in the first place. Cats often do things based on instincts that we humans might not understand. For example, scratching furniture might be an attempt to mark territory or relieve stress. Climbing up the curtains could mean something has scared your cat, or she's looking for a safe high place to perch and survey her surroundings. If she suddenly starts urinating outside the litter box, she might be in pain or have a urinary tract infection. Or there may be something in the environment causing her to be scared, stressed or anxious, so she wants to surround herself with her own scent to feel more secure. If she jumps on the kitchen counter when you're preparing food, she's probably learned that that's where the food is and is hoping to get rewarded with a treat or some attention. Cats do things to fulfill their wants or needs, but sometimes how they do that doesn't match what we think is okay. That's when conflicts can arise, but a water spray bottle is not the answer. Let's now look at 10 reasons why using a spray bottle is not the best idea. Number 1. The cat doesn't learn anything. While spraying your cat may interrupt her behavior in that moment, it does nothing to prevent her from doing the same thing again in the future. Number 2. It doesn't train an alternative behavior. It simply stops the behavior you don't like. In other words, it doesn't teach your cat what to do instead, only that something unpleasant happened and she has no idea why. Number 3. It doesn't address the underlying cause of the behavior. Let's say your cat is urinating outside the litter box, which is a common behavior issue reported by cat parents. Instead of spraying her with water when you see her doing this, consider why she is doing it. There are so many possible reasons for the behavior. Some of them have practical solutions or are simple management issues. Others are more serious and may require immediate veterinary intervention. And some of them are more complex and may need the assistance of a qualified feline behavior professional. One thing is for sure though, spraying your cat with water is not going to fix any of them. Number 4. It's scary. Many cats have an intense dislike of water and are often fearful of it. When you spray your cat with water, you elicit what's known as a startle response. This is an unconscious reaction to something sudden or scary, like a loud noise or quick movement, and is often associated with negative emotions. Because of this, using the startle response is risky as it may scare your cat or make her feel threatened. If bad experiences like this keep happening, your cat might start feeling more nervous and worried. This could lead to bigger problems like aggression, avoiding you, hiding away, or not using the litter box at all. Which means you now have a much bigger problem, and no one wants that. Number 5. It risks a negative response. As I just mentioned, if you introduce something unpleasant, like spraying water on your cat, it could make her more likely to get aggressive or scared. The thing is, punishment works, unwanted behavior is eliminated. At least sometimes, says renowned animal behavior expert, Dr. Carolina Westlund. Using punishment in animal training is the equivalent to taking medication that only works sometimes and has humongous, not to mention common, side effects. Frankly, I wouldn't risk it unless there were no other option, she says. And unless there's some major emergency, there's pretty much always another option. Number 6. It risks making the cat distrust you. 
cats don't recognize a squirt of water as something that's meant to discipline them. They just see it as an unexpected and unexplained attack. This risks making her scared of you and leading to feelings of distrust. Number 7. It may be painful. Even if you squirt your cat with water at a low pressure and from a distance, there is still the risk that you might spray her in the face or eyes. This could cause discomfort, pain, and even injury. Number 8. What about when you're not around? If you're not there to spray your cat every single time she does something you don't like, she will probably figure out that she can still do the thing when you're not around. Unless you're at home watching your cat 24-7, it's highly unlikely you are going to be there every single time she scratches the sofa or pees on the rug. So you really need a more effective long-term solution. Number 9. It may be confusing for the cat. For punishment in animal training to be effective, it requires getting the timing, intensity and duration exactly right for each individual animal. This is virtually impossible to achieve, even for a skilled, experienced trainer. For example, if your timing is off even by a nanosecond, the punishment may be applied to the wrong behavior, which could be confusing and stressful. In the same way, if your punishment is too intense or lasts too long, it can make your cat feel scared and anxious. But if the punishment is too mild, the cat may not even notice it. Here's the problem with that. Every cat is different, and what may be scary for one cat may be inconsequential for another. How can you possibly know? You can't. Also, if you punish your cat for too long, it could make her even more scared, erode her trust in you, and make her feel stressed and anxious all the time. As loving pet owners, surely that's the last thing any of us would ever want. Instead of punishment, teaching alternative behaviors and rewarding them is a kinder, more effective way to change your cat's behavior in the long run. Let's say your cat has a habit of scratching the furniture. Instead of using a spray bottle to discourage her, you could redirect her behavior by introducing a scratching post. Place the post near the furniture where she usually scratches. Make sure it's sturdy and covered in a material she likes, such as sisal rope or carpet. Make the post appealing by scattering catnip or placing toys nearby to attract her attention. When you see your cat investigating the post, praise her and offer a jackpot of treats to reinforce the behavior. If you see your cat still trying to scratch the furniture, calmly redirect her to the scratching post with catnip, a toy, or her favorite treats. This modern, science-based approach will help strengthen the bond between you and your cat and create an enriched home environment where she feels safe, relaxed and happy. You can use the same approach for any behavior issue too. Just adapt as needed. I often hear people say, but my cat stops what she's doing when she sees me pick up the spray bottle. Unfortunately, when this happens it means you have become part of the punishment. Your cat now links her bad experience with you being there. This is not a good place to be. We want our cats to know they can trust us and feel safe with us, not be scared of us. To get more insider insights into your cat's behavior, don't miss my video 10 reasons your cat won't stop meowing and what to do about it, link above and below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos on cat behavior. Thanks for watching. Come see us at catanddoghouse.com slash cats.